In this video, we're going to learn about absolute cell referencing. In our example here of student results, we've got the total results, but these are out of a mark of 120. So we need to work that out as percentage. Now, the most, the obvious way to do that is to go create a little um, formula, which is equals the total grade divided by the marks. And that gives us a result of 0.825. Now, if we just copy that down, we're going to start having a problem. And the problem is this. You can see that this is working fine. It says um, check out E2, which is what we want, with um, I1, which is the result here. But when we copy down, it updates the rows according to how far you've come down. So this is E3 and I2. The problem is, if I press F2, I can see that I2 doesn't have a value. So while I want the E, so the column here to move down when I copy, I don't want the I column to move down. I want it to always stay as I1. So how you do that in Excel is you go to I1 and you put a dollar sign in front of the values you don't want to change. So if I don't want the column to change, I'll put a dollar sign in front of the I. If I don't want the row, um, the row to change, I put a, a dollar sign in front of the number. So I don't want either of them to change, I want it to always stay as I1. So I've got two dollar signs in front of that. If I press enter, um, that will copy down and that will not update the I1, will not update the cell reference. So that's what we call absolute cell referencing. It says do not change this when we copy it. So that's how you do absolute cell referencing in Excel.